Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be showing you how I made this super cute like mushroom boy type thing. Anyways, he is just so cute. And I've actually been getting requests for quite a while now to make a tutorial on this. So that's what I'm doing today. Um, he's so cute. Also, um, just a little heads up in this video, I will not be using a chunky yarn um, to show you how I'm making it because I'm currently out of one of the colors I need to make him. So I'm gonna be making him with just regular like medium weight for yarn. Um, but you can easily use the same pattern and just use a chunky yarn instead, whatever floats your boat. Anyways, I'm going to be showing you everything that you're going to be needing to make this and then we can get started. So uh, to start off, I use a pair of scissors. I think this is pretty, like, I feel like if you crochet, then obviously you know you're going to need a pair of scissors. So yeah, um, I used a five millimeter hook, but of course, if you're going to be using a chunkier yarn, I'd recommend sizing up just a little bit. Um, but yeah, I'm using a five millimeter hook with this yarn. Then I'm going to be using one of these needles. I think it's called like a darning needle. I'm not entirely sure, but I know it's used for yarn. Um, and then I used a stitch marker, obviously, to count my stitches. And then you need safety eyes and the safety backings, unless you know how to sew on eyes and then you're going to need stuffing. And other than that, I think you are all set for materials. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to be starting out with the mushroom hat part of the body. So this part, and basically for this mushroom that I'm gonna be making in this video, I'm gonna be using this blue color because I want to make like a blue mushroom. So we're going to start off by making a magic ring with six stitches in it, or six single crochets in it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then you can go ahead and pull your magic ring tight. And then I'm going to put my stitch marker on the looper on my hook. Okay, for the next row, we're going to do increases into every single stitch. So into the first stitch, you're going to do two single crochets and that will be your first increase and then just continue that around. Once you're done with that row, you can move your stitch marker up. And for the next row, we're going to be doing one single crochet into the first stitch, and then into the next one, you're gonna make an increase. So put two single crochets into the second stitch. And then we're gonna repeat that. So that one single crochet in the next stitch, and then the following stitch, we're gonna put two for that increase. And you can just repeat that pattern all the way around. Single crochet, increase, single crochet, increase. And move your stitch marker up when you are done with the row. For the next row, we're gonna continue increasing. So make two single crochets And then into the third stitch, you're going to increase. 
and we're gonna repeat that. So two single crochets and then an increase. Move your stitch marker up and for the next two rounds, we are just going to do one single crochet into every stitch. So this is my first row of just single crochets around. And then you move your stitch marker up and do one more round of just single crochet. Move your stitch marker up to the next, or sorry, move your stitch marker up to the loop around your hook. And now you can kind of see the mushroom like cap hat start to form. For the next row, we're going to be going into the front loop only. So let me show you what that looks like. My yarn's kind of tangled. Okay. So we're going to be doing three single crochets and then an increase for the round. But in this round, we're going to be going into the front loop only, which is this part of the loop. So we're not going to go through the full thing. We're not going to go through just the back. We're going to go through the front which is right here. Okay, so we're going to do three single crochets to start. And this is the third. And now we're gonna do an increase, still into the front loop. And we're just gonna put two single crochets into that front loop. And we're gonna repeat that all the way around the row. So one single crochet two single crochet, and this is the third, and into this fourth stitch we're going to do the increase. And just continue this all the way around. Okay, once you finish that row, obviously move your stitch marker up. And now we are going to go back through the full loop, and we're gonna do our last row of increasing. So put four single crochets to begin the row. And then in that fifth stitch, we're going to increase. Also, sorry for the barking in the background, if you can hear that. But yeah, we're gonna keep repeating four single crochets into the fifth stitch and then do an increase. Yeah, actually that, I don't know if that made sense. So. Yeah, but we're going to repeat four single crochets and then an increase all the way around. Okay, so we don't need our stitch marker for the blue part. So you can put that to the side and now we're going, I'm just going to slip stitch into the next stitch and we're going to tie off the blue yarn. So you don't need a, you don't need a tail, just kind of cut and then we can leave that for later for sewing. But now we're gonna get our white yarn and attach it. And I am just going to show you how to attach it. So as you can see, we have the back loops from two rows ago when we did our front loop row we can use the back loop to then connect our white yarn and continue the mushroom so to do this i'm just going to go insert my hook through one of those and then pull up my yarn and then i will chain one Then you can just single crochet into every one of these um, back loops until we get back to this one and I'll meet you 
when I get there. Okay, once you finish putting a single crochet into every single back loop, you're going to put your stitch marker on. And now we can go ahead and just do five rounds of single crochet. And this will build up a good amount of like the rest of the mushroom. So go ahead and do this. For five rows, just single crochets into every stitch, and yeah. Okay, I finished my five rows of single crochets. Now I'm going to add my safety eyes. So I'm just going to place them where I think they look good. Um, that's what I normally do. So I don't have an exact spot. Also, I might like not end up keeping them because they're kind of huge. And I just don't have the right size of safety eyes right now. So these are 12 millimeter. I'd recommend using maybe like a seven millimeter safety eye for this um but i don't have that right now so yeah i'm not gonna use these but you use whatever you're going to use for safety eyes and then pop the backings in obviously and then we can continue so i'm now going to grab my stuffing and then we can decrease and add the stuffing and then we'll be done with the crocheting part and then we can just add some dots on the mushroom and we're all done. But yeah, um, just add your safety eyes because that's what we're doing right now, except I just don't have the right size, so yeah. Okay, so for decreasing, we are now going to do two single crochets and then a decrease, another two single crochets and a decrease and we're going to repeat that all the way around move your stitch marker up and now we're going to be doing one single crochet and then a decrease for the next round and repeat that one single crochet decrease just around and for the last row now I'm going to just do a decrease all the way around and we can also stuff this row because it's gonna close up to be so small that we're not gonna be able to close it up so I'm actually going to take a pause after a few decreases and now I'm going to stuff it. Um, but
Okay, I'm just going to continue decreasing now after I stuff. And now I'm just going to remove my stitch marker. I'm actually going to cut my yarn, leave a little bit of a tail. And now I'm just going to pull through my yarn, tie it off. Now you can see that we still have this hole. So what I like to do, and I've showed in past like tutorials, is that I kind of take my end of the yarn and I loop it through each one of the stitches on the bottom as I'm doing right now. And then what I do is I just take that piece of yarn and I pull it tight and it closes up the bottom. And from there, I'm going to just take my needle and I'm going to sew it into the body just to make sure that this piece of yarn doesn't get undone. So I'm just gonna poke it in and weave it back through, poke it this way. And that should be pretty secure. So then I'm gonna go ahead and just snip that. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with this, but I'm going to just sew it into the blue part because I don't want it to be showing. So I'm just gonna go like under here and then poke through. And then again, just randomly poke through. And then I could snip the yarn. So now we have the mushroom, but if you want, you can go ahead and sew some little spots onto the mushroom. I'm actually gonna go ahead and do that. Um, so I'm gonna show you how I do it real quick and then I'll do the rest off camera because it kind of takes a little bit of time. So what I do is I just snip, I don't know, a few inches and then I take my needle and I just kind of sew it through where I want the little spots to be. And then I just go in through about two stitches, pull my yarn through, and just kind of make a little loop like that. And then I can go ahead and just, whoops, snip the pieces. And I have my little spot, and I can just continue doing that around where I want. So I'm gonna continue doing that and then I will show you my final results and then you're done. Anyways, that's it for the tutorial. I gotta tuck these in a little bit more. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed and let me know what you want me to show how to make next. And yeah, bye.